Warning, the following game which you are about to view is rated M for Mature due to animated blood and gore and animated violence. Also, this is a horror game, so scares. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is Tales from One Nine, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Blind. In the last video, we made our way down to the lower basement, an even lower basement that is, of uh, Umbrella's Laboratory, where we encountered a few frights, but we also got a key card, and we're also out of ammo in the handgun now, so I can't see myself getting any more, so I guess it's- ah, no, not again! Oh, come on, you couldn't even let me finish what I was- You couldn't even let me finish my recap! Oh. I'm sorry. I'm really loud now. Oh, I'm starting to use up an awful lot of this shotgun ammo. Just don't freaking do that to me again. Ammo disc! Oh. I need an ammo disc. I think I should be very concerned for what's gonna happen in here. Okay, I, I was just trying to prepare myself for that time. I didn't want to get caught by it a third time. Okay, climb up the ladder. <laughs> get out of that basement. Oh, that is a basement of terrors. But it is the lowest floor so far, so it makes sense. But I wonder if we're going to start going up. We are on the fourth basement floor after all. <sighs> okay. Yeah, okay. These guys are still here. Go around! Good. Very good. Now we can use this key card to go elsewhere. Wonder what that guest network game was for. It wouldn't let me do anything else after that. Okay. Is this the last place to use? Oh, right. It's it's the next door. Silly me. Okay. I am afraid to see what's in here, though. Wait, can I? Do I want to, though? Oh, okay, there's nothing there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't guess that anymore. Uh, two or more staff need to be present to enter. Come on to a fingerprint verification, sure. Alright, so, where is Ada? I need to find her. Ah, let's go in here! I'm not ready. Oh, just zombies? Oh, I can, I can handle that. That's, that's not too scary. Ooh, magnum bullets. Looks like it's gonna really want me to start using my magnum very soon. Wait, is that a first aid spray? Three full heals! Ah, maybe I'll just ignore you. I mean, considering you're the only one. No, you're not. And unfortunately, I'm kind of trapped, so I kind of have to do this now. No, there's more. That's just great. You're making me burn through my ammo. I'm starting to run a tad low on shotgun shells. Okay, there's a ton of you guys. Whoa! What the freak? Yeah, I don't want to use an bullet, so head smash. I've got three full heals. I'm not that concerned anymore. Oh, what? What? What's? What's that blinking? Oh, I don't want to go back down there, though. I don't. Please don't make me. It's too scary. <laughs> That's a basement of horrors. Okay. Is is that going to be important at all? Should, should I try? Uh, no. Okay, fine. I guess I got to go back down. Can I just find some shotgun ammo first? I don't want to go back down. 
It's not fun going back down. Uh, okay, it is kind of fun. I am playing this to get scared after all, aren't I? Okay. Uh, cool. Let's go. Back down. I thought I'd be able to start going up. You. You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? Um. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. What? Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Wait, I'm at the end of the game already? What? Wait, I thought I had a little more to go than that. I was barely in this place. Um, okay. Well, I got three full heals, quite a bit of, a little bit of shotgun ammo, and a lot of magnum ammo, so... Um, that was a little abrupt, in my opinion. Leon. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Wh what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. <gasps> Ada! Ada, I've got you. Don't give up.
Well, I wasn't exactly expecting. I mean, yeah, I knew there was something up with Ada, but is it wrong that I can actually sympathize with her? I think it might have something to do with the show I'm doing in the fall show. Something like this actually happens. So, I kind of sympathize, because I, I end up in that position in the show as well. The girl I'm with is really not all she says she is. I learn it, and then she threatens to kill me, but then she doesn't because our, our f true feelings get revealed, and then she just dies. So, I sympathize with Ada. I didn't want her to actually fall to her death. Okay, it's, it's just it's just a zombie. Actually, it's just zombies. I mean, kind of annoying. Yeah, not really scary anymore. Oh, there's another one. Can I just bypass him? No, nope, let go of me. Doesn't matter. I've got th three. Whoa, his hand was still stuck on my shoulder. Alright, I guess I'm going out this way, and then I guess it's final boss time. I wasn't expecting to be at the end already. I, I thought I was going to that other room, and then start heading upward. Ah, well. The timer hasn't gone off yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. I should probably get this ready. I'm probably gonna run into William now. <laughs> now that this is the definite end, which... Wait, what? What do I do? Hello? What do I... Hello? Um, oh, there we go. All right. Well, mainly that was predictable. That form, on the other hand, wasn't! Oh, he's kind of fast! I have three full heals though, so I'm not in the worst position at least. Alright. I might want to turn around. Where is. There it is. Again, you pretty much always save the Magnum for like the end, guys. Oh, he's facing the wrong way! Unfortunately, he can get me pretty darn easily. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Should I... Oh, uh, wait, wait, what's what's he doing? What the heck? Oh, what the... Oh! Just run! What the freak is he doing?! Whoa, 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 how much health have I got? Okay, I'm fine. I still have quite a bit on me. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute! Okay, okay, I really thought that was gonna be an instant death move. Oh, whoa. Oh, shoot, I forgot to reload. Oh, that was close. This thing has a lot of health, I must say. Where is he? Uh, I'm just gonna run this way, okay? Oh! Shoot! Run, 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 run!
What's it gonna take for him to get down? I guess that. Alright, is that the end? I hope, because I'm kind of running out of time now. The timer's still counting, though, so I don't like that. I get the feeling he's not really dead yet. Oh, just hurry up! He's not really dead yet, I'm sure of it, because the timer's still counting down. If it was really dead, the game would have been over by now. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to fight him one last time. Okay, that end uh, was very abrupt, which kind of made it less satisfying, which is a bit of a pity because the rest of the game was freaking amazing! My gosh, all that they did in this, and you know, the reason it is abrupt is probably because of the B scenario which is next? I didn't think I'd actually be finishing the game right now. That was kind of quick. That was a tad disappointing, but... I can't complain about the rest of the game. The music is very well executed. It is creepy. It's suspenseful. It's also majestic like this and beautiful like Ada's theme. And they know exactly when to use it and when not to use it. And the graphics are an improvement from the first game, but I'm not really going to talk about the graphics because it's a PlayStation game. I'm not looking for that. There were some pretty darn good FMVs, though, I must say. Like the ending, the whole scene with William's transformation, but again, I feel like the ending was a bit rushed, which is a pity because the rest of the pacing of this game was fantastic. If they just could have had a little more build-up, I think it would have benefited. But... Whatever, other than the end, I still say it's a fantastic game. And the controls, again, you have to get used to tank controls, and then they're really not that bad. And the addition of upgrading weapons was kind of nice, too. I did like that. And lots of new different scares and some unique monsters, which I liked. This game did a very good job in the scare department. Fantastic. I loved it. I loved the scares. And there's more to come because of the B scenario. I realize I never ran into Mr. X, so I guess he's only a staple of the B scenario. Wonder when it's going to appear? I don't know! I guess that's gonna have to wait for the next video, because next video we're doing the Claire B scenario! Yes! I really wonder what I'm gonna run into. So, anyways, that's Resident Evil 2. Not quite as long compared to the scenarios in the first game, but... They definitely have a lot more content and substance. It's definitely the quality of the content over the length of it, and... In terms of the content, this game was magnificent, and I am looking forward to seeing the B scenario. Of course, that's for the next video, unfortunately. But one scenario down! Nice! Oh, 
I did really bad. I did really bad. E ranking. Oh well, this was my first time playing. I wasn't even expecting to do that good. But what are the requirements to get better rankings? I didn't think I did that poorly. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I can always get better in the next playthrough. For the first one, it's just about the experience. Alright, so save this so that I can do the Claire B scenario in the next video. Until then, though, this has been TalesFan109. Have a nice day.